In the last video, we took the derivative of this quotient using the quotient rule, and I hinted at the fact that maybe we don't have to remember the quotient rule. Maybe there's another way we could do this. And this is the way that I prefer, the way I'm about to show you, because then I don't have to remember the quotient rule. It's just one less thing that I have to remember, which to me, if I don't have to remember something, I, I, I really don't want to. I have a bad memory. Okay, so what I'm going to suggest is to rewrite this. Let me rewrite this as the derivative of a product. And I'm going to do that by by just using negative exponents. So this will be x cubed minus 4x multiplied by the by 2x squared plus 1 all to the negative 1. And now we already know the product rule and we know the chain rule so this is not going to be too difficult. So let's start. First we take the derivative of the first term so that's going to be 3x uh, squared minus 4 times by the second term, leave it alone. So this is the product rule I'm doing right now. 2x squared plus 1 to the negative 1. And then we add, and now we leave the first term alone. So that's x cubed minus 4x. And we take the derivative of the second term. This is just going to be a chain rule. So the negative 1 is going to come down. So multiply by negative 1. And, and then we have 2x squared plus 1 to the negative 2. So that's the power rule part of the chain rule for this function. And then we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside. So that's going to be uh, 4, 4x. Four And if you're looking at these two things, they do have a lot of similarities. Now we can simplify this a little bit. Let's, let's simplify this. So this term becomes 3x squared minus 4 divided by uh, 2x squared plus 1. So that negative 1 exponent just goes away. And then we're adding, but this, is whole ter this whole thing is going to be negative because of this negative 1. So we'll just subtract now. And then we have x cubed minus 4x, 4x times by 4x, that's right here. And now we can do, uh, send this here this negative exponent to the denominator, or that whole term with the negative exponent, and that becomes 2x squared plus 1 squared. Okay, so our new answer looks very similar to our old answer, but it's, it doesn't look the exact same. Let me erase this step before, just to clear things up. So, we did the chain rule and we got to uh, the, or sorry, the chain rule and the product rule, we got to here. The only thing that's different is we, it, we could find a common denominator and, and then make this one fraction. But really, we don't need to do that. You know, there's really no reason to do that. But if you did, all you would have to do, if you, if you wanted to do this, the common denominator would just be 2x squared plus 1. We'd have to multiply this side so that this term becomes squared. So there's two of them. So we do that over itself. And I'll leave it to you to confirm that, that if we were to find this common denominator, that this would be the exact same thing as this. Okay, so for me, uh, when I see the derivative of a quotient, I don't think quotient rule. I just think rewrite write it as a product rule and then take the derivative of, of the pro or using the product rule. Okay, so if you like this way better, great. If not, then continue using the quotient rule. See you in the next video.